Hello and welcome farmers to Usena Solutions. So if your first time to be here on Usena Solutions, please press the subscribe button and smash the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our uh, lessons. And uh, if, you, it's, if you are a follower of us, thank you so much. We appreciate your work and uh, we appreciate what you do. So for today, we are going to touch on our vermiculture, which is the topic of the day, and we're going to do why we need to do vermiculture. Okay, uh, so thank you. So today we're going to run on the definition of uh, vermiculture, and then um, we go on to why do we need to, to do this uh, vermiculture. So on the why part, we're going to mention the advantages of vermiculture uh, in uh, soils, plants, animals, farmers, and uh, not forgetting uh, the environment. So first, let me define the term uh, vermiculture. Uh, vermiculture, it comes from the Latin word um, vermis, which means a worm. And uh, culture is the um, processing or is the method um, or the, the, the rearing of worms. It's the rearing. So vermiculture is actually the rearing of uh, worms. And um, these things, they look more... Um, more similar to the term vermicompost where by now the vermicompost is the outcome that we come with that we get from um from vermiculture but uh, actually we 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 call it uh, the vermi basal uh because we use it um, as our basal uh fertilizer so um, uh in our book we define our vermiculture as the raising of surface dwelling earthworms for the purpose of turning our dead matter into uh, humus or worm cast or that we call uh, the, the vermicompost. So like I said, why do we need to to do this uh, vermi, uh, vermiculture? Uh, like I said, everyone is waste, uh, be it at um, at um, uh, household level, farm level, uh, market level, well, whatever level you have, you produce waste. So vermiculture is actually a beneficial to, to our souls uh, let me start our souls uh, as we said we have plants souls animals farmers and to the environment so we we divide this into into five sections so starting with the soils uh, actually vermicompost is actually uh, a soil conditioner uh, in soil conditioning I'm talking about uh, the temperature uh, not in terms of uh, the the nutrients and the stuff this is um, a temperature conditioner so actually if you are in areas that are probably um, with the higher temperatures uh, or very low temperatures, vermicompost, it acts as a soil conditioner. Actually, it buffers the temperature of your soils, which means if your, your temperature is high, uh, like in sandy soils, uh, some some temperatures can rise within the sandy soils, but actually the vermicompost is actually capable of uh, reducing those um, kind of temperatures to to a normal uh, temperature and also in very cold temperatures it actually also help as a conditioner in terms of uh, the temperatures uh, also vermicompost it actually decomposes chemical residues like um if you want to go organic uh vermicompost is one of the things that you need to consider because uh, actually if um maybe you've been using some chemicals before and then now you need to to go into organic farming um according to 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 to, to zim organics uh actually you need for for to t for you to turn your farm from uh, being inorganic to organic you need about three years so with the vermicomposting it actually helps you to to speed up the process so that uh, the vermicom or the, the worms themselves they can digest um chemicals um so that uh, they can um uh, they can you know uh, make uh, the 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 product that comes out uh, being uh, organic and also like uh, being said before it uh, buffers our uh, pH these worms they actually tend to to reduce uh, the the pH uh, levels but actually we are not saying now uh, you need to put uh, things with higher or very low pH so that to, to test them. No, the worms themselves, yes, they can suffer, but actually the outcome, the vermicompost itself, it helps to to, to buffer the, the pH, which differs from, from other compost. And also it improves uh, the soil structure, 
we need camp structures which are also um one of the best uh soils that we need so with the vermi combos it's actually uh give us this uh kind of structure within um within our soils and also it improves uh what you call uh, the pore spaces within our soils uh vermi compost has the ability to have uh, more spaces uh in it that encourages uh, our roots and um you know the breathing of our plants and um something like that within the soil so the porosity of our um, of our soils uh, is uh, increased within our uh, vermicompost due to these uh, pore spaces being uh, more into our soils so vermicompost also have the ability to hold um water so it is the higher holding capacity in terms of water which is also a benefit to us um, as our uh, farmers so you know as we have more water being held within the soil that means we now reduce uh, the amount of uh, water which now uh, runs off within our soils so vermicompost is also reduces what we call erodibility that is the ability of soils uh, being uh, washed away by um by 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 water or any or any agents that are like uh, wind and um and the stuff the vermicompost it contains millions of uh, microorganisms that are beneficial uh to to the soil and also in terms of um in terms of uh, good cec uh, in terms of good cec let me explain in this way cec it definitely it generally means a uh, cut ion exchanging capacity which means the ability of the of the soil to hold the nutrients that is the, the general part so it means uh if you look specifically on the on the let me give an example of magnets if you put two magnets together the north side the north and the north poles it means they repel so most of these are uh, nutrients we get them in a negative um uh they, they can be in, in a negative and then uh the our um, our soils can also be negative charge. so the negative and the negative charge um they actually repel so actually the now this vermicompost it provides that uh as more soils tend to be uh cut ions swimming that tend to be um positively charged uh and then our soils now uh the the sandy soils they are usually uh, also positively charged so it means when now these soils they can't attach to the soil that's why you see we say at uh, the sandy soils they they don't hold the nutrients because they are they are also positively charged like uh, most of the nutrients that are uh, we get uh, into um, that are in in the soils so probably uh the the holding capacity of the nutrients within those sandy soils is generally limited so with the vermicompost it actually helps to to, to, to have this good uh, cation exchanging capacity, the holding capacity of the nutrients, so that uh, they have the negative charge, and also those nutrients will have a positive charge, so they will actually attract uh, to the to the soils. So basically, these are the advantages pertaining to the soil part of um of our vermicompost. Uh, when you know, uh, it's actually we are saying we have more sandy soils. Uh, to to loom soils uh, in uh, Zimbabwe, so uh, vermicompost is actually helps uh, within uh, this um to 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 improve uh, like this uh, challenge we are talking about. Before we move to our next uh, session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our topics. So um, now we've looked on the benefits of our uh, vermicompost to to our soils. Now we need to look on the benefits of our uh, vermicompost to our plants. Actually, vermicompost is also acts uh, as a pesticides uh, to um, to things like aphids, white flies, powdery mildew, donny mildew, late and early blight, and uh, including rust. So uh, I have a testimony from a farmer who has been using a uh, our vermicompost and um since from there uh he also confirmed that the challenges of tutor absoluta were actually slim um uh since he started um producing this uh organic uh vermicomposting uh also the vermicompost is contained uh, what you call the growth uh 
regulators like uh, gibelic acid, uh, like the, the gibelic acid, which is also uh, a, a growth uh, regulator that you can find from a uh, vermicompost. Um, it also contains, uh, it improves uh, plant immunity. Like uh, what we say, we say a, a healthy person, um, he, he or she, when you are something like healthy, when you eat healthy food, actually like a balanced diet, you have uh, more chances of being healthy because uh, your immunity is actually fight against its own diseases. So because uh, the vermicompost it contains all essential uh, both micro and macro elements, it uh, probably uh, get it a benefit of uh, it's improving its uh, plant uh, immunity. And also it provides enough uh, water supply to the plant. As we say, uh, vermicompost is also contains a uh, good water holding capacity, which gives us a better advantage of it um, uh, holding more water, which uh, probably can be enough for 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 our plants so in case of drought some or in case of uh, low rainfalls so someone doing a uh, vermiculture or planting uh, his or um, her field using a uh, vermiculture you are actually at a benefit uh, because um, you your plants they can uh, have uh, more or enough uh, water reserves and it's also a good reserve for at NPK which means that these are nitrogen phosphorus and potassium they are released as per required by the plant so they are steadily released um, from the soil to the plant and uh, we can also run from run away from the fact that uh, with the organic farming uh, specifically with the vermiculture we are saying we improve the life the shelf life of our crops uh, especially with uh, those uh, horticultural farmers uh, when you are worried about the, the shelf life of your plants um, vermiculture you also need to consider it it also helps uh, in the improvement or in the good shelf life of your of your plants and it also uh, produces uh, the biochemical process and uh, better storage of um, exchange of capacity or micro elements i think we have talked about that uh when we discussed when we discussed about uh, the cation exchanging capacity when we said uh now uh, because these cation exchanging capacity are there in the soils so it actually provides uh a good uh thing in terms of our plants uh because um other soils like uh, other chemicals we actually provide them with npk that is uh, usually we most farmers we cannot run away from the fact that we buy uh, basal fertilizer that is mainly composed of the nitrogen phosphorus and potassium um, sometimes it uh, the sodium and sometimes the boron uh, but mm, yes in some some fertilizers they are now putting some zinc and the stuff but uh, these are the main the uh, three elements that we put and then uh, on top of dressing mainly we use uh, the ammonium nitrate so we'll be repeating the npk the nitrogen phosphorus and uh, the the potassium but are they only the essential elements that are needed by the plant which is a no so for us to have a balanced diet for the uptake of uh, those are uh, npks they requires um these micronutrients for them to be absorbed uh within um within uh, the, the the stream of uh, our plants so definitely we need uh to have uh, these micronutrients or a balanced diet for our plants so that the absorption of these uh, NPKs is available. So with the vermicompost, we actually have a, an advantage of uh, that we have these micro elements being available uh, within uh, within the soils, uh, which gives our plant a, a better advantage. So now we go to the advantages of uh, vermicomposting uh, to the animal. Before we move to our next uh, session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our topics. Vermicomposting also uh, plays a crucial or in important role within our in the animal sector. Um, it contains a higher CP uh, crude protein of, of more than uh, fifty percent. Uh, crude protein which is uh, quite um, 
quite high especially if we can compare it also to to soya it's also a good source of protein that a farmer can actually uh venture into vermicompost to to make his or her own uh protein actually i've met a farmer today i was um in a more what they were having a um what do you go field day with uh the inclusive uh poultry value chain where we had a lot of farmers we were discussing then so i met this farmer and i was talking about this uh vermicomposting and the mago thing so he was saying uh he has some beds you know some 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 composting beds i think i uh, mentioned eight of them so he paddocks his uh chickens in those um those are in each paddock is a vermicompost each paddock is a vermicompost so what it does is uh the chickens they now feed on this compost when they are done they are shifted to another compost when they are done to another compost so it's just only something that you can do uh in terms of uh, providing your your good diet uh for for your chickens um since they're also putting uh, some waste and it's also part of our uh, organic farm for those who want to go or organic chicken rearing it's also a good source of protein uh that you can use uh so apart from that if you can look on your chickens they look uh to be more happy when feeding them with uh worms because uh you know chicken they are they are killers they are hunters so they actually have that ego to kill so we by introducing uh the worms uh we actually give them a good advantage in terms of um being able to that ego to 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 kill we give them that ego so that they will actually you know as uh when you are deprived or when you are deprived from uh the actual norm that you need to do like a chicken is a hunter when it is deprived from hunting insects and the stuff you know is you you you, you lose for like um you know the the existence that uh, like uh why, why do you exist everyone is his or her own passion but if you're deprived from your own passion it means that i uh, sometimes you you get low and the stuff so it's the same concept with our chickens we sometimes need to give them uh these are uh, worms so that they 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 produce that ego to to eat uh or to to to, to to existence because they 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 they'll be doing uh what they they really need to to do especially the chickens are a hundred and also these worms they are also palatable in terms of digestibility uh the protein that is in uh the these are uh, worms it's also easy to digest compared to the protein that we get uh from um from soya so to speak uh it's also easy to 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 digest so that is part of the advantages of um vermicomposting uh especially when you're talking to to to, to our animals now we look uh, on the benefit of the compost to, to the farmer uh as the one who is uh, in this um, in this process so basically as a farmer what you need to achieve uh, mainly when we are talking of vermicomposting it's uh the pocket so when a farmer says i've benefited from uh, something uh you look the benefit in your pocket uh because the, if you have left uh or if you look into your pocket and find some money and then that is a benefit uh to to the farmer so to the farmer we look on the pocket um and also health wise and um but mainly as a farmer we consider the pocket so you can actually uh you have money in your pocket by saving uh that money for instance if you need to use money to buy something and you save it because you have another alternative uh it's actually a beneficial to the farmer because uh you have um you have something in your pocket so like uh, with the vermicompost it actually saves uh the cost of fertilizer which means uh, for you other than going to buy the, um, the fertilizer it's actually now you you give more emphasis on buying the seed uh for 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 the high quality seed so that you you have a higher yield and a higher management so the other part that you you were supposed to to buy some fertilizers now you put uh higher management in terms of um that thing you are doing so it saves uh, in terms of our uh, cost um whereby we are saying it reduces cost of fertilizer uh like i said uh vermi uh vermiculture the extract that we get then it's actually a good pesticide and uh also it saves 
uh, cost to of buying a pesticide and also in some cases like i said uh, we've been just through with uh, the animal side where saying uh, you reduce also your cost of uh, buying uh your your animal feeds as you have uh, a ready uh supplement of uh, of uh, your protein to to your animals and also it reduces the chemical levels in your in your body i was uh, reading this uh article for for a certain family they were being tested uh, for for organophosphate uh usually the main chemical that we get uh within our bodies when being tested for the for the chemical components within our bodies so this is the, like a residue that we get uh, from our uh, eating uh, all those kind of things that we eat that are not organic so they leave uh, some residues within our bodies but um when this family started uh, uh eating feeds with um with uh, organic they were they were eating especially from the vermicombus uh, it was said that uh, they had dropped um actually more than 50 percent of uh, the chemical levels within their bodies which is uh, actually uh, a, a good uh, advantage or a beneficial to to us as humans as we cry for cancer for whatsoever disease that are coming from so it actually reduces uh, also those uh, chances of um, also so, sorts of uh, diseases that we get and it's also boost your immune like uh, you can make your your your, your your powder your your powder from the worms which is uh, also helps to boost your immune in a certain disease and also uh, you can um, actually reduce chances of disease from chemical by air and uh, from our food like um, we are saying uh, if uh, like in especially let's talk of uh, urban farming we understand that in urban farming um, we we put a lot of maybe chemicals within our urban farming that water is may be directed to the dams and it also needed to be treated again so actually if we use a uh, vermicomposting within urban farming it's actually going to be cheaper in terms of the municipality to to treat that water because in the chemical composition of uh, that water will be reduced because we are no longer uh, supplying more chemicals within our water so it's actually uh reduces all those uh, such a uh, kind of uh, water pollution uh, air pollution uh from from the in uh, from us so that um you know it is uh, beneficial to to the farmer so that they won't uh, be having some some diseases with these uh, chemicals uh, where we we spray um you know and also when bread and some countries they also do when bread and uh, medicines i've talked about it uh, which is also a beneficial you can make a uh, medicine for for certain diseases like um bp uh blood blood pressure which is um a good beneficial to 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 us farmers and the environment as well and then on the environmental benefits uh it means we have we after the combos uh we have more of uh, agricultural waste that uh, we actually um throw away uh everywhere so with the vermicompost you are saying we reduce uh, this um chance of uh, having uh, more uh waste within our environment which also this waste can also attract uh, flies so with the vermicomposting we are saying it reduces uh, this kind of waste within our environment and also vermicomposting is odorless uh, we actually have uh, less or no odor uh, the smell of the vermicompost is like uh, do you understand when like uh, maybe there have been no rains for some time and then we get some those first rains we get that um so you smell that we get it's um uh, the, the the kind of smell that you can probably get from your from your vermicompost so it's actually a good scent that you can get um actually uh i i, I have a vermicomposting bin uh, in my room in my kitchen where i throw my 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 stuffs my all my waste uh, after eating um everything that i eat uh, i i have a vermicomposting bin in my house and it doesn't smell so it's actually one of um those things that um you you probably need to to do um at your at your home actually when you um when you don't want it in your room you can actually put it uh, outside as your bin as your as your vermicomposting and also 
uh, the rate of uh, carbon emission and also we can not um, the low chemicals in the soils uh, in the water I've talked about it in the air so it's actually a very uh, good uh, advantage in the environment because we will be reducing the law of our chemical things uh, both in the air to our environment yes, as you can see that a lot of uh, diseases that are coming puzzle yeah, to we now have um, we now have all sorts kind of things because all these creatures they are now getting adapted to to, to our chemicals that we are using so we really need to to consider these uh such of things and also um so that is the advantage you so we will live a healthy life after we we do our vermicompost and after we do uh waste management using this uh vermiculture process so um, in a nutshell those are the advantages of our vermicompost uh to the soil to the animal farmer and are not forgetting the environment and animal so once again thank you viewers for listening to this old channel uh you send us solutions i hope you enjoyed and we are going to have more and more videos on um on uh, this uh vermiculture thing so just as that's the introduction of our vermiculture and uh we are going to talk more on the worms themselves how do you do it how do you harvest how do you apply such kind of thing so please uh, stay tuned to this channel if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please do subscribe click the subscribe button and then smash the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our videos that we're going to post and uh, if you have any questions any comments please uh, do post on the comment section below so that uh, we can also respond to you if you you can contact us on whatsapp number that we have uh, provided for you the whatsapp number you can also contact on our facebook page and on our twitter and instagram pages so thank you once again don't forget to smash uh, the subscribe button thank you